Hi, welcome to the third video in our series, how to make a stunning WordPress theme with Divi 2.0. In this video, we're going to be exploring uh, some of the modules. Now, there's a lot of modules here, so this is only the first half, uh, but let's get to it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is actually add in what's called a specialty section. You'll see this down here, add specialty section. Uh, this behaves much the same as a normal section, uh, but uh, you get a, a few more options. One thing there's al also you have access to is what is a full width section, which if you have a box layout simply spreads across the whole page. But since we're not working in a box layout, we're not really going to delve into that too much, but you'll get the idea simply by looking at it but um, one thing you do get in a full width section is uh, a few different kinds of options like a map uh, portfolio slider um, we might just quickly insert a map because this only takes a minute we can simply add a location let's say we'll call it London London we'll find that on the map we'll save that so now we've got a pin there for London and we're going to simply save that map. So we've got this full width map down the bottom of the page. But uh, before we do have another look at that, we're going to add this specialty section. Now you'll notice we've got the columns. We've actually got a few little variations here with uh, split up columns and that sort of thing. So you can sort of play around and get some pretty nifty effects with this one. So we're going to choose the first option here. Now it doesn't look too much different at the moment, but you can see that here we have a module and we can actually insert columns over here. So um, we can insert a full width, now add another row, insert half and half. So we have, we can now have a nice little split up sort of section over here. And what we can do is start adding bits and pieces all through the page and, and create a cool little uh, configuration. So I'm going to just uh, insert a few different types of modules. I'm not going to go through all of them and just show you some of the cool things you can do with this. It's, uh, it is a pretty cool uh, theme just because of the amazing amount of things and cool little effects you can add throughout your page. Uh, we'll start off with some of the more basic ones I want to show you is a toggle bar. So we're going to go to toggle. I'm just going to copy some text for a second. So what we're going to do is simply paste some text in there. I'm going to call this one, say, information. State is closed or open. Now, basically, you'll see what this means when I save the page. Once again, you get the usual options and give an admin label, some CSS ID tags, that sort of thing. But generally speaking, it's pretty basic. I'm going to save that. And I'm actually just going to duplicate. You can duplicate anything on the page by clicking this button here. So I'm going to duplicate this toggle a couple times. And go through. I'm simply going to change this to, uh, say, about us. And maybe the final one will put uh, contact us as a bit of an idea. Okay, so all of these are starting off closed. Uh, if I update the page and show you, you'll be able to see. Now, anything you don't put, if you leave the left side of this open, this will simply, like a like an inline block, move over to the left. So for now, these will be sitting. If I just refresh. Sitting on the right, well, there you go. I was wrong about that. But either either way, these toggles, you click on one and out comes the information. So if you leave that setting that we were looking at before to open, it will simply load open. And you can go through and open up toggles on the page as you go, which is a, it's a pretty nifty little effect. And as you can see here, we've got the map, this full screen map that we can scroll through using the, I think it's the Google uh, map uh, software so you've got this cool little map down the bottom a nice little text section there and another section here we're working on so one thing you'll notice too is that uh, it's all just sort of blending in with the white so I'll add in a few more modules we'll put a pop in a background and then we'll have a good look at this all in a minute so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, simply copy a YouTube video address in here if you'll just give me one second so what we're going to do is add the module, add a video, add the video URL, which is simply just the YouTube page. We can put an image to overlay, so that way uh, you can put a, a customized image, a little play button on there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Like we're just trying to go through very quickly and explore this. So we're going to save that video in there. Uh, what we're also going to do is add in an audio module here. So this is cool if you've got a podcast or something and you want to put the latest episode or, or simply anything on there, maybe a recorded message, you can add an audio th in there. I actually don't have an audio file. All I'm going to do is simply type in 
a file that's not there, just so that way it at least shows up. Um, you can call this, you know, my podcast. Artist name, Wade, album name, we'll leave that. You can put a cover art image in there. For now, we'll simply upload a file. Let's say, I'll just put this in there, something a little bit. Doesn't really make sense using a picture of this as the album image, but it just shows you where we're going with it. Text color, I'm actually going to choose dark since we're on a white background. Usual settings, click save. And then on the right, you've got, like I said, you've got pricing tables, that sort of thing. You can also set up a little login page. So if you happen to run a membership site, the people log in through your WordPress, that sort of thing, you can also add in a login area. Same thing here. So I need to your account, redirect to the current page, use background color, etc. Might change the background color to black just for something different. Text color light, yep, because we've got a white back, we've got a black background, we want light text. Uh, we won't bother adding an extra text. If you do put in extra text, this will simply appear underneath the header. We're just going to save that. And what we're also going to do is set a background. We're going to set this same background we were looking at before. You're not going to go through and put any... You can actually have a, a video background if you have an MP4 video you want to pop in there. Um, we've got a few options there. And we're going to use the parallax effect again. We're going to go true parallax this time. Usual options and save. Okay, so you can see here we've added video, audio, login, and let's say we don't want these toggles here. We're going to get rid of those and replace them with something else. We actually have another option which is called an accordion, which we add an item about us, and then we've got to copy a bit of text over, paste that in there, and then we can add another item and call it contact paste some text in there, and the third item, info. Okay, so we've got rid of the, the toggle and put an accordion in there, and I'll show you why in a minute. We'll just update the page. I'm going to go back to this page and refresh. Okay, so you can see now we've got a nice little uh, area set up here. So First of all, the background was probably one of the last things we did, but you'll notice as we scroll down, the background moves at a different rate to the rest of the screen. So as I move down, you'll notice that things, if you watch the bottom of the screen here, these posters will disappear, but it still moves at a different pace to the rest of the screen. So that's a cool little effect if you really want to sort of fancy your page up. Look at our video here. You can play, which is just straight away embed from YouTube an area here you can sign into your account my podcast a little play button that sort of thing um, the image has been cropped because it does tend to square off the image and uh, also we have the accordion here and with the accordion you'll notice we have the same effect as the toggle only it turns off the other items when other when you know an, a different item is selected so this is a cool way to keep it compact and not have all these toggled items opening throughout the screen so that's another pretty cool effect you can add in. Um, yeah, so there are plenty more that we can add. I'll go into some more of those. Uh, but I think so far you can see you've got some very cool effects. We've got some little animations. If we refresh the page again, you can add in some cool little animations. This slides in. We've got our little uh, back, still background there, our, our parallax background down here, a few little toggle options. You can see that the, already you have the ability to build a really powerful uh, like sort of landing page that uh, has an abundance of elements that you can use. But we're going to look at a few more uh, probably not so common elements that you can use on your website. So in our final video, we'll be going through uh, some more of those modules uh, and just to just to finish having a look through. Uh, what are some of the most eye-catching and awesome uh, features the Divi team has? Uh, you can find a link to that, link to that below, um, or you can go onto our website for more information, uh, designwebidentity.com slash diviinfo. It has a full write-up, uh, maybe a few things that aren't in the videos. Also, if you just want to go ahead and download the theme, uh, head to designwebidentity.com slash divi. Uh, it is an affiliate link, uh, like I've mentioned in the other, other videos. Uh, I, do make, I do make commission if you purchase. But it's just awesome. The, the things you can do with this theme are really cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.